Hello everyone, Tabitha here. I got a little package and I wanted to share with you today. And this is an exciting one. That's from St. Louis Art Supply. Lots of wrappings and little extras in here. They threw in a little sticker. I'm not sure. Little bookmark ruler. But this is the star of the show. We have the Kakamori. There it is. <laughs> the little brass nib. Well, that's pretty. So what I want to do is, this is one of my favorite pens, which is the um, silver one. And then, so they say the brass is actually better for sketching. This one's been really smooth and really great to me. I've been using it quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and compare these two and see how they differ, if it really is better for sketching. And I did get a holder for it that I really hope works. This is going to be pretty. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And they did give me a nib on that one. So let's go ahead and get this in there. Oh, it's tight. Let me get that going. Oh, that was a little bit of twisting to get it in there. It was a really tight fit, but it's nice and in there now. And so we got some really pretty ones. This um, this E and M um, did come with a nib, and it's a pretty one. So we'll take a look at that another time since we're just comparing these today. So let's go ahead and get some paper and get some inks and see how they compare to each other. All right, all the goodies are lined up. We have some Strathmore mixed media paper. We've got carbon black ink, a favorite. We have some Noodler's cactus fruit. And we have some FW acrylic ink. What color is this? It's a green, but it's um, their sap green. Took me a second to find that. And let's go ahead and see how these go ahead. And I did pre rinse the nib. And let's start off with my one of my favorites. And this is so smooth. I've been so pleased with this one. Thin and thick lines. Does beautiful with the carbon black ink. No issues at all with this dip pen. Now they say this one's better for sketching, so This definitely, you can feel it pull a lot more on the paper. It's definitely not as smooth as the other one. The brass has a lot more pull. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It definitely pulls on the paper more. Just rinsing that off. Let's try this back to back again. Yeah, this one, you cannot hear it pull on the paper half as much as you can with the brass one. So if you like more feedback, you definitely want the brass one. If you like a smoother feel, then you definitely would go for the silver one. Let's go ahead and see if that's true 
with the other inks and how this brass one fits with that. Let's try the Noodlers, which tends to be a little bit thinner than the carbon black. And we'll start off with our silver one, or stainless steel I think they call it. Smooth as anything, writes perfect, doesn't skip, gives a really nice line. And let's go ahead and try this and see how the feedback is on this one. Not as much feedback as the carbon black ink. It has a lot more grip. You almost feel like you have more control with the brass one because it's pulling at the paper a little bit more. So it feels like you could actually get in there and detail something up a little bit more just because it has that grip to the paper. A lot more feedback on the brass nib so far. And now let's go ahead and test an acrylic ink and see how that works. I've really loved this dip pen. It's really quite fantastic. This one actually has a tiny bit more feedback with the acrylic ink than with the thinner inks, which is to be expected. And now let's go see if the, I think these would be great, either one of them, for sketching. They're both very similar, a lot more feedback. They keep the ink for a long time, so they really are great for sketching. And if you like detail work, you might have better luck with the brass one just because it does have that additional feedback. The lines tend to look almost identical. I think the thin and the wide are just about exactly the same. So it's really more up to um, these if the stainless, if you'd like a smoother experience, I think for longer writing times or longer drawing times, this one would be really nice. It has more of a fluid or softer movement to it. And the brass one tends to give you a lot more feedback. So if you do a lot of details or small intricate things on paper, or um, if you like your writing really detailed, this one you can feel it. Um, more on the paper. And if you look at the points really close, I don't know if we'll be able to see that. The brass one actually is a little sharper all the way around than this one. This one has a little bit more smoothed edges and this one's a little more, more chiseled out. So if you are ever wondering, that's the difference between these two. I think either one would be great for sketching. It just would depend on opinion and I have loved this one so much so I decided to add this one in. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.